We had a pastor come from Tennessee. He had, he had hepatitis, hepatitis A, B, and C. His liver was destroyed. The doctor said, You're, there's nothing we can do for you. You probably have four to six months to live. He heard about us and what God was doing here. He gets a ticket and he flies to Santa Maria. And he comes into our healing rooms and his skin is all yellow and he, he can barely walk. He, can, he was, could barely breathe. He was so, so sick. And I remember we ministered to him and the power of God came on him. And he went out. When we couldn't wake him up. We go, oh no, we killed him. We can't, but he was still breathing. He still had a heartbeat. That was a good thing. So we carried him into another room and just laid him on the floor. About an hour later, he came to. When he got up, he was completely healed, people. Every symptom was gone. He flies back to Tennessee. His doctors read a whole battery of tests. There's no hepatitis in his body anywhere. And he had a brand new liver. There's somebody tonight that's getting a new liver. There's somebody tonight that's going to be healed of hepatitis. I don't know if it's you by watching or somebody in this room. But the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I'm prophesying to you, you will be healed tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I better stop. I can keep going. I better stop. This is our beginnings, people. This is how we started this ministry. You'll know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Some will be healed by grace. Some will be healed by love. And some will be healed by power. But I want to tell you something. It was all, it's already finished at the cross. He purchased, he paid for your healing. I don't care if it's emotionally, physically, or spiritually, or all above, of the above. But he's here tonight. He loves you. He gave his life for you. And all you have to do is say yes to him. And he'll begin to put your life right back together. So, Lord, we thank you for who you are. Lord, we thank you that we don't serve a dead God. But, Jesus, you rose from the grave. And you're alive today and you're in this place right now. And, Lord, I want to thank you for what we're about to experience tonight. The healings, the miracles, the signs and the wonders that we're about to experience tonight. Lord, I ask that you would heal them all like we just read in, in Matthew 8.16. Lord, it says you said in Hebrews 13, 8, that you're the same yesterday and today and forever. Do it again tonight. We pray and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.